It's early December, and winter is quickly settling in here in northern New England, and as the ice continues to move south, so do the ice fishermen. Off to the side. Yeah, something. Crappie! There's fish, woo! Yeah, crappie. <laughs> we knew they were uh, knew they were in here. This is definitely not as big as they get. We got some really big ones the last time we were here. Oh man, that's awesome. I'm wondering if I should keep some. I'll ask Jerry later. Peace, bro. Crappie. Sweet. Frank's fish of the day. First fish on the brand new Pro Model VR, Where's John it? Perry. Woo! That is dope. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. All right folks, since we've been out here for like no time at all, we haven't even finished setting up. We still have to put one more flag in and, uh, and then we're gonna get ready for jigging. Jerry over there, he already got a Larry on his brand new little setup from John Perry. And uh, we just got a crappie on the one spot that has like some super clear ice. And I really just wanted to catch a fish in that one spot. And right after I put the flag down, we got a fish like pretty much instantly. Um, it's gonna be a good day. We're out here with Kristen. Where is she? Right there, she's blending in. And uh, Steve Tosti, the man, the myth, the legend, the swim bait god, he's coming out today. Uh, so we're gonna have some freaking fun. See you out there. Oh, man. I thought that was gonna be a huge bass. Still a freaking decent pickerel. Peace. I could probably still jig with this thing too. It's just not gonna be as sensitive. I'll be honest with you, if you're gonna step on a rod, you really gotta get a rod locker. What's that? Yeah, rod locker? Yeah. Yeah, because then I won't do stupid shit. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really pissed. That black cage right beside my sled? Yeah. That's my rod locker. Yeah. No, oh, that's not bad. Well, folks, uh, here's a little lesson to, of the day. When you have a $110 beautiful Team 13 pickle stick with the tickle stick with this super sensitive rod tip, uh, you should probably try not to leave it right on your chair. Because when you open up your chair and it slices the thing in half, just, just like that, it's a good failure to start the day. Another big fish. Nice. Larry. Number two. All back this way. Man, we went the wrong way. That way was freaking on fire the last time we were here though, so. Peace, bro. Something. Oh. Huh? Maybe not too small. <laughs> Big perch! Nice perch. So, what you got? Kibber? Nice! Little double up here. Kind of a trick flop. Love it. Peace.
I'm moving. Off to the side though. Yeah. Some with a little more weight. Could be a little Larry or a big pickerel. Oh, pickerel. Uh, took the bait. That's oh, that's my giant shiner too. Ah, uh, peace, bro. Yep. Off. That was on me. Nice. Decent. Come on, be a Larry. Oh my freaking god! Look at that thing. Woo! That is a giant crappie. Huge. That's dinner. He's... Let's check and see if he's got any worms. But how did he do that? Oh my goodness! He's huge. Look at that. <laughs> I don't see any. How do you usually check them? They have these like little lumps and stuff oh. that you'll be able to see. I'm bringing that home for dinner. <laughs> that. Another one. Holy sh**, this thing got like knocked over. Yeah! Nice. We'll take them home. I just got a couple more. That's dinner. Ah, oh, that is freaking awesome. Get it. Huh? Big? Please be a big crappie. Oh my goodness. Yeah! Woo! Yes! That's awesome, Kristen. I swallowed that. I got that. You want to uh, go and run and grab the big camera? This is why we're here. Yep. You know, I've never caught a largey through ice. This is your first? Just largey. Oh, yeah! yeah so Smallmouth, though? Smallmouth, yeah. Yeah. Freaking beautiful. Kristen's first ever largemouth bass through the ice, folks. We are freaking pumped. Let's get him back in the ice. All right. So pumped. And he's a... oh. Yeah! Yes. <sighs> yeah, he's got a little bit of weight, too. Come on, be my first Larry of the day. Come on, Larry. I don't know if it is. I think it's a big pickerel. Aww. Look at all the grass coming up with him. <sighs> He's not even that big. He just felt huge because <laughs> there's a freaking wad of grass. Hey, folks. Another slimer. Slime town. <sighs> Feels like uh, a monster weed. Yeah, bish. Uh, that was a seven. Yeah, yeah. Get it. Get it. Oh, yes. Whoa, dude, yes. Whoa. Look at that pickerel. That's a giant pickerel. Oh, man. Look at his mouth. It caught up the ice. Man. What pound test you got on there, Jerry? <laughs> Look at the size of that pickerel. Nice, Jerry. John's rigger again. John's rigger. Two fish on John's rigger already today. Dope! Waxy. Yeah. I got worms. Oh, yes! All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it's like a half a waxy on there. Whoop, whoop, little bud. God, you're like the perfect bait size. Look at that. Peace, bro. My youngest gets on at 6.48, and my oldest, he's like, yeah, they got like this isopropylene stuff inside the bobber. The bobber will freeze into the water. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, you little bitch. I got you. <laughs> it's so fun. Why is it so fun? Oh, man. I love it. Small little gill. Crushing the little gills here today on the jig stick that I broke because I'm an idiot. Yeah. It's so oh. oh, there it goes. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, look at it run. Oh, oh 
Nice. Still wicked cool to watch that fight through the freaking clear ice. All right, bro, you're tangling the line. Shoot. Please be a... Oh, it's a little bass. Look at that so cool. Awesome. Larry, you went for a run, huh, bud? You're trying to get that big old shiner. Woo! My first Larry, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the first one. Sweet. Just a tiny guy. But we'll totally take it. Peace. Get it. Off to that side. Got him? Yep. Woo! Please be a crappie. What it's do you think? Big. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Another Freaking big darts today are out. Peace, bro. I'm pretty sure that. Uh, I don't want to mess with that. No, that's not a fish. That's just going to the bottom. No, that's a fish. No yep. Is it a fish? Oh my god, it's a fish. It's another pickle. It's turn, actually. It's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> More dinner! Uh, nothing better than setting the trap to get the fish. I love that. I was like, why is that still spinning? Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a day of firsts. Look how little what is this? That's a, dope. We call it a shad drop. Oh, it? that's so cool. I was like, wait a second, I think I have a fish on you. <laughs> Wait a second, I think I have a fish on Look here. Look how little it is. That's so awesome. That's your second bass today. Mm, a so tiny. So you got your first bass ever yep. through the ice, mm -hmm. and then your first ever jig fish, which is a bass the size of your pinky. <laughs> yep. Beep, beep. The littlest bass on earth. Look how small it is. He's so okay. cool. There you go. So dope! <laughs> you just like came out running out of the tent. I got one! Toss day! First bass of the year. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. First tug, I was like, oh, this is a stud. I pull it off. Well, oh, maybe not a stud, but a nice fish. Mwah! Peace! Awesome. Bass. Yeah! Right. Doubling up. Woo! All right, bud. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in eating everything. It's good for you. Woo! Yeah! Crabby! <laughs> Awesome. You want another one? Don't let him flop down the hole. Is he big enough? Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Shoot. Let's see. If he's if he's smaller than the smallest one, we should let him go. I think he is. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna say he's just a little too small. That sucks. That was dope though. Peace. Come on. Pretty big, whatever it is. Nice. Oh, pickerel, pickerel. Damn nice. you, pickerel. Pickerel's too tonight, baby. Tea spray. Yeah! Woo! There we go. 
freaking nice fish. And it wasn't a load of weeds. It was. I want to get a good shot of them with a nice camera. Can I go grab it? Um, sure. Damn it. All right, guys. Tossie's out of here. Frank's out of here. Kristen and I are staying. We got two hours left uh, until we got to go and get home. So a little bit of sunlight. These guys are taking off. And we're going to open for uh, a few more fish out here. So, woo! Until next time. Peace, boys. Hey. Like right there? Yeah, like down there. You by that tree there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw me foraging last time. Yeah? Yep. Dope. Yeah! yeah. Yeah! Woo! That is awesome. More dinner. Oh, that's what we needed right there. That's a good one. There you go. Sweet. You're the best. It's gonna be a crappy dinner. That is a day maker. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that is so cool. Pretty fish. Peace. Damn. All right, bud. Thanks for coming out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes another epic day in the water. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go home, cook up these crappie, and chow them down. Huge thanks to Kristen for getting me most of the food that we're eating today. Uh, and a huge thanks to Tosti and Jerry for coming out today. We had a freaking blast out here. It's too bad it got super slow midday, but we still managed to get quite a few fish, and the morning was freaking fire. And we're bringing home four crappie for dinner, so that couldn't be better. Uh, listen, if you had fun today, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that bell notification as well. We got a ton of ice fishing videos coming your way. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fishing Grubs. Fish out! Oh my god, flat. Okay. Good.
There's a fish. Somewhere. It's a bass. Are you serious? Nice one. <laughs> I was like, this feels huge. You should feel just this. It feels like a five pound bass. Like, oh man. Good Lord. That is awesome. One last Larry to end the day, folks. God, I love that. Hope you're good, bro.